YOLO, my fellow human beings, and welcome to episode 91 of The Best Blessed Life. I'm your best host, Kristen, and today's topic is... Practice what you peach? Um, that's right, I said it. Before we get started, I want to thank you all for watching. Please continue to watch, comment, share, like, subscribe, ring that bell, and please pass them on to anyone you think that they may help. With that being said, here's our list of things to do today. So, of course, we're going to do our daily inspirations. Um, we're going to practice what we preach. And then we're making peaches and cinnamon rolls. And don't forget that every recipe I make is made for you for the very first time. Right in front of you. Like... I'm sure it's been made a million times, don't get me wrong, but this is the first time I've ever attempted it, and you know I have to mess with it a little to make it my own, so therefore, there's where we're at right now. So uh, the first mistake I made already was um, realizing I had the wrong main ingredient, but I didn't panic. Okay, so we're actually making peach hand pies, okay? And uh, hand pies is just like those, you know those hostess? Um, they look like a semicircle and they're frosted and they have cherry and apple. Well, we're making peach ones. And um, I'm going to go over the recipe with you first. And then we're going to get started on the recipe and we'll go over the daily inspirations somewhere in between there. Okay? So, um, I think, like, most of this is substituted for what it actually is, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Okay, so it called for two boxes of refrigerated pie crust. Um, which I do have, uh, but I didn't use those. And then one can of peach pie filling, and I'm going to explain what the substitute is for that, believe it or not, in just a second. Uh, one teaspoon of cinnamon is still there. Two and a half, is that two and a half? Cups of powdered sugar, which there is going to be a substitution. Sorry about that lady. Ugh. Jordan, I need your help. Um... Powdered sugar, a quarter cup of milk, that's a substitution, and the egg white is still going to be there. Preheat to 425, remove pie crust from fridge and allow it to come to room temperature per while prepping filling. And then you dump the filling in, oh my gosh, I can't even, in a shallow bowl and dice peaches using a fork and knife. I already did that. Add cinnamon, I haven't added the cinnamon yet, it's right here. Um, I lost my spot. Right. Add cinnamon and mix until blended. Set aside. Unroll pie crust and cut six circles from each crust using a four inch round cutter. Might have to combine scraps to make a sixth one out of each one. Okay? And then using one tablespoon of. Ta one tablespoon cookie scoop, you drop the, the filling into the thing and then you. Um, fold it in half and pinch the edges closed and seal with a fork. Poke pie with fork once to release steam. And then you beat the egg white in bowl until frothy. Brush over pies. Bake on parchment paper lined sheet for 15 minutes until brown. While pies bake, whisk together the sugar and milk, um, the powdered sugar obviously, um, until smooth. Remove cooked pies from the sheet and drop while warm into glaze. <coughs> Excuse me. Coating completely. Return to parchment and allow it to set. Enjoy. And it says you can freeze in airtight container for 30 days. And I'm wondering if you wrapped each one individually and then put in the airtight container if they'd last a little bit longer. And then they're only 124 calories. Uh, 4 grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs, and 1 protein. Um, but, you know I didn't necessarily do this. So instead of two boxes of refrigerated pie crust, I am using um, two tubes of 
cinnamon rolls. And then the one can of peach pie filling is actually peaches, canned peaches that I have to turn into pie filling. And then um, I don't know if I'm going to use the two and a half cups of powdered sugar because I kind of forgot cinnamon rolls came with frosting. So what I thought I would do is take the one quarter cup of milk, which I wasn't going to use milk. I was going to use peach, the peach juice, the peach juice from the can, which I am, and I'm going to uh, thin out the cinnamon roll glaze with this peach juice and hope that gives us enough for the, I think it is 32, because I took, this is the next thing I was going to show you real quick. I don't know why I say real quick. I don't know why it doesn't want to stay there anymore. Okay, so what I did was I opened the two tubes, the two tubes. Okay, and then what I did was I cut them in half. Okay, are you following me? And then what I did with to make them round again was I just pinched it closed. And then I'm going to roll each one out till it's a good size. I might have smaller ones, but I think, you know, then you can have a couple. So that's what they end up looking like. Okay. And then I'm going to take my rolling pin and roll them out. I got to repinch them all first, though, <laughs> to get them back to round. They didn't stay round, you know, closed, but I think once I flatten them. <clears throat> So, good idea, right? I'm pretty excited. Okay, so what we need to do here is get our peach pie filling going, which I took, she said to use, okay, the recipe. Sorry. It is one 15 ounce can of peach slices in syrup, and I had them in 100% uh, peach juice. And then a half cup reserved drained juice from can, uh, third cup sugar, one heaping tablespoon of cornstarch, one teaspoon of lemon juice, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Ooh, I didn't see that part, so I haven't even gotten that ready yet. But I will tell you that I'm using double that because I have so many. So hopefully I have enough. So what they want us to do first is whisk together, which I did, the one third a cup sugar, so that's two thirds, and the two heaping tablespoons of cornstarch, and that's over there. And then, um, so you whisk those together, and you're gonna add, add that to the juice with, with the sugar mixture in a saucepan. I'm gonna get it. The way she works, it says then add reserved half cup drained fruit juice with the sugar mixture in a saucepan. Couldn't she just say? Okay, anyway. So that's why I have the one cup, because I'm doubling, right? And this is my sugar and um, cornstarch mixture. So I need to bring this up to a boil, is how I understand it. Give me a Then add reserved half cup drained fruit juice with the sugar mixture in a saucepan. Yeah, it's not worded quite the way I would And what am I, how am I supposed to stir this? Does it say? No, it doesn't say. Stirring constantly, though. Let me get a... Yeah, I should not stay up, right? Just let me get this mixed together. I'm going to get this turned up. Frankly, I probably would experiment for future reference with the quantity of sugar used because I, I feel like if you're using juice, right, and she honestly doesn't know what I'm using to, to fill it for, per se, but I mean, in all essence, it's a pie filling, so you'd be using it for pie. I mean, is that the only sugar in most pies? Yeah, but this isn't the only sugar in these pies because I'm going to have the, you know, kind of frosting glazy stuff on the top. All right, so I'm supposed to 
bring this to a boil, but my cornstarch is kind of bubbled. You know, there's pockets of it still. Maybe I should have used my whisk. I was gonna. I was gonna. Bring mixture to boil over medium high. And then stir constantly. Boil until thickened and mixture begins to bubble. Add reserved fruit at all at once. Return to a boil. Okay, so I think we're at a boil. Well, I mean, we've definitely gotten thicker. But I'm not sure I'm ready to. Oh, it's getting pretty. Okay, I think it's ready for me. You know, when she said heaping tablespoons of cornstarch, I think I might have got a little too carried away with what heaping meant. Where do I have the lemon juice? I got lemon juice here. When is that supposed to go in? Lady. Hey, lady. Oh, after it's cooked, the, come to a boil the second time. I might, might need to add more liquid, I'm not sure here. Did it come to a boil again? It's really a quick process, to be honest. I'm wondering if I want to add the cinnamon in here now. Instead of, I mean, because the original recipe didn't call for the person to make the pie filling, you know. But if you have the opportunity to season it while it's warm, like, that seems more logical to me. Sounds good, right? Constantly. And then um yeah. But gently until it's as thick as you like. Okay. Okay, I didn't really go too far with the instructions on that. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh my goodness, I'm getting all kinds of dingles here. Perfect guys. Look at that, nice and thick. All right, so now I think I add the lemon juice. Oh, I just, I thought I just unplugged. I did un unhook myself. I thought I unplugged myself. Okay, then add 
the lemon juice simmering a minute longer. Okay. Too, too carried away with the. Um, this is beautiful. I might have gotten a little carried away. It's thicker than I remember pie filling to be, but that's okay. It gets a chance to cool down while I'm um, making the, or rolling out the, um, our new pie crust that we're using. Okay. I don't think it needs a minute. I don't want to put it in there hot, obviously. I don't want to make the, I'm going to take that off the heat as well. I don't want to make the um, dough too moistened in advance. <laughs> that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, all right. Well, while we're letting that cool, and before I start rolling out, I'm going to read you the daily inspirations for the past two weeks, because I didn't do an episode last week. All right. So we're starting with Thursday the 19th. The power of intuitive understanding will protect you from harm until the end of your days. I didn't write down who said that. The capacity to take care, to protect, to nourish. Thish Nahat Han. I apologize for the horrible pronunciation. The 21st, protect your enthusiasm from the negativity of others. H. Jackson Brown Jr. The 22nd, I'm very protective of my energy. You have to protect your energy around outside sources because your positive energy can be canceled out by someone's dark energy. Poor day. I'm going to put you on pause. All right. Sorry about that. The 23rd, be good to others. That will protect you against evil. Abu Baker. No generous mind delights to oppress the weak, but rather to cherish and protect. Anne Bronte. Like a precious family heirloom, freedom is not just yours to enjoy, but to treasure, protect, and pass on to future generations. Os Guinness. I'm trying not to lose my place there. I think we have a moral obligation to our children that can be easily summarized. Number one, protect them from harm. Tom Allen. Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. Mahatma Gandhi. He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. Marcus Aurelius. Art is a harmony parallel with nature. Paul Cezanne. I had the page marked and everything. The 30th. Music is a fantastic peacekeeper of the world. It is integral to harmony and it is a required fundamental of human emotion. Zun Quang. With an eye made quiet by the power of harmony and the deep power of joy, we see into the life of things. William Wadsworth. Wordsworth, sorry. Grace has been defined today, the first. Grace has been defined as the outward expression of the inward harmony of the soul. William Hazlitt. All right, so we got all those taken care of. Good stuff, right? We're learning as we're growing. I love it. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to try and move my assembly line process over here. Look at that. My coffee came wet. Okay, so my uh, icing came with a thing about this big. That's why I want to thin it out with the rest of the juice that I didn't use. Okay, so that is going to be our attempt. But here's also the powdered sugar I measured, and it's a combination of that um, uh, not-so-bad-for-you powdered sugar and uh, the rest of it. So I'd say, like, three-quarters of a cup of it is the healthier sugar. And then here's our egg that we need to beat till frothy, but I don't want to do it until I'm ready to... Um, and here's the thing, I could potentially just save myself that egg, right, because I'm 
Because I'm not using pie crust, and I think my cinnamon rolls should get brown on their own? Thoughts? All right, now the other fun part is that you're going to get to witness me rolling out these miniaturized cinnamon rolls right before your very eyes. So I think I'm going to try and pinch them together here a little better, you know, like an actual pinch. And then, I don't know, it could get messy. Yeah, because see, that's already coming undone, and I wonder how we can, and then I'm just going to mush it. can't get too carried away. Now see, like I said, they might be, and they didn't stay rounded, so my little pretty little presentation didn't really work. But the other thing is going to be, how big can I really get them? So that they will hold at least a decent amount of, the nice thing is they're pretty buttery, but I also wonder about, you know, because I don't want them to get too thin, you know? So the lesson here might be don't cut them in half. And I'm debating on how I should prevent them from sticking to my... Just trying to get a little, because she wanted you to use a tablespoon of stuff. And frankly, I don't even know if that would be one of my, one peach. Because I, I just did try and um, cut the wedges into thirds. It's still very warm. Here might be where we take our first break, because then I'll roll all of them out off camera, because you don't need to see me roll every single one. I might go through and cut these a little bit smaller. Um, I might be getting a visual. I may be using two and doing a top and a bottom and then crimping them together. Option options people never panic we always have options all right so I'm going to put you on hold for a little bit now you can decide whether this is healthy or not <laughs> okay I'll be back with you in a little bit get a drink have some coffee you know and I'll be back soon all right I just got done saying I think I'm ready I think I'm ready I'm SpongeBob now. Um, well, I got them rolled out. They're, are they beautiful? Absolutely not. Would I change something? Um, right now, I couldn't tell you what I would change if I did. Um, the one thing I know I probably would not change going forward, even though they stuck to my rolling pin like nobody's business, and you get kind of a holy effect. So I'm a little concerned about our filling leaking out. But I didn't want to add flour to the to the cutting board to um, prevent them from sticking because I didn't want to get it all gummy. Because I think I've run into that problem before with something I made. So the experiment here is to either attempt to uh, just do one at a time. I don't know if we'd be able to crimp them the way they're supposed to be. I could use a fork, couldn't I? Let's see here. 
Let's try a fork. I don't know, they're pretty cute, but I'm scared. I just got it stuck to the, no. Okay, okay. There we go. It's more like a, a, a peach. Um, oh, and I lined my, my cookie sheet with silk pad. I don't know if I said that or not. It's more like a peach pierogi with cin cinnamon rolled up. So, I, I don't know. I feel okay with them being that size. Then you can have two, and it might feel like you're being more, you know, like you're cheating on your diet kind of thing, you know? I don't like that word, you all know that. And then I'm just gonna pull it over so that they meet. And then I'm gonna just press it down. There you go. I'm off camera with the actual thingy too. I wanna make sure those sides get together. And it's okay, cause it's nice, the dough does stretch a little bit. Yeah, they're sticking to the, they're so stinking cute. Oh, look. All right, well, I'm going to keep going on this. I'm going to push you on pause so you don't have to watch me make all 8,000 of them. I know there's only like 32, but it feels like a lot. Exciting, right? I'm so excited. All right, I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I got the first batch done. Are they beautiful? Well, let's just put it this way. They're beautiful to me. They're all different shapes. They're all different uh, sizes. Uh, what I'm not going to do is poke the hole because most of mine do. I have a hole in them already. And the other thing I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do, but I'm going to check maybe, I don't know. How long does it say we need to cook these for? 15 minutes. I'm going to check maybe five minutes in or so to see if I even need the egg. Because I would prefer to leave it out. One, they're pretty expensive right now. And two, they're buttery and cinnamon. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll keep you posted. We're not using regular pie crust like your big recipe calls for. Excuse me. And also, I'm a little concerned with the cook time just because I'm using a different outer covering, so to speak. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check it after five for sure. And then the next thing I'm going to do is check it after 10 total because I don't know that I'm going to need, um, you know, that uh, extra time on there. All right. So while I finish up these last few, I guess we could talk about practicing what you preach, not peach, even though I did cook peach, you know, because it's a fun play on words. Why not? Um, so last week I didn't film, and the reason is, oh, I'm not using this, this is gross. Uh, the reason is, is that I was pretty run down. I had had, I don't know, it felt like a super long week, even though it wasn't. Just a normal length, just like everybody else's. But... I don't know, just something in me said, you know, I know you want to keep going, you know, I, I, you're definitely going to reach 100 videos this year, so, I mean, not that I'm panicking about it, but, so, essentially, I'm practicing what I preach because I, I paid myself first, sorry guys, I had to pay myself first last week. I did a lot of baths, I got some decent naps, I, uh, I don't know, still not journaling, I'm not gonna lie, you know, that's kind of a big one for, uh, I, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong. So I have an alarm set for everything else in my life, I'm going to set an alarm to write. It's not even that I hate it. It's just, you know, I get into nighttime mode. I'm wondering maybe I should be journaling in the morning. 
maybe these are all lessons I'm learning about how I should be doing it for myself. Everybody's different, right? Oh boy, that's a doozy. Um, so, yeah, not real proud of myself right this second. But I also need to learn to not be so critical of myself when I can't get to it right away or even and all you have to write down is very little you know I feel like I'm, I'm putting pressure on myself to write this great novel since I haven't been on for so long or in the journaling phase for quite a bit of time uh, so here is my you know practicing what I preach in the reverse in that I'm trying to get you all to do it. Maybe you guys can figure out but what's the best time for you guys? If you're journaling, when are you doing it? Um, I mean, maybe it's not just a daily thing. Maybe I have to do monthly, you know, wrap ups or something so that I keep fresh in my mind what I've written about. Although, is that relevant? So these are questions that I'm asking myself because I want to stick to the challenges we have going and I'm finding myself not really adhering to the second one for sure. Now the first one, the third one, here's my exercise and I'll be damned if I forget to like wear my watch more often like when I'm babysitting or when I'm at the market, market, when I'm at the store, um, uh, come on, I just want to come out, now I feel like I have too many, oh, I definitely have too many on this one, um, is not keeping track of, you know, those steps, because they count, they matter, um, so I, I want to start paying attention to those things again. And I'd also really like to get back into either running or walking. This is my time of year that I really like to get out there, even though it's free, although today is freezing. And um, I need to go back to that no excuses kind of philosophy. But does it, does it counter the pay yourself first philosophy? I guess, essentially, can I say that a few more times? Um, does one come after the other? Like, right after. Okay, do I hate them that they're... No, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna put the egg wash on. I'll probably be sorry. Okay. But yes, you always need to pay yourself first, hence why it's first. But I also feel like, are you really giving yourself this time off to recuperate or are you making excuses? I guess that could be the full scope of that, you know. And then, we, and then, then we're right back to evaluating, right? We're evaluating ourselves. What, what is it about us today that we don't feel like doing what we're supposed to be doing or is it really that you need to take a step back mentally or physically or both and just say whew I need a break I need a break like where are you where's your head at are you keeping track of those things you know those are important to keeping all these goals going like you're the key if you're not doing them What is it about it that's making it so, I don't want to say hard. Like I said, I'm, I'm not here to make any excuses for why I didn't journal or, um, you know, those kinds of things. I, I'm putting it flat out to you. Maybe I am making you accountable for me. No, I'm kidding. Not accountable for me. But checking in with me and say, hey, are you getting that done? Are you where you want to be at? I'll know. Not yet. 
and see that's the other thing I have these maneuvers I like to call them that I'm making that seem grandiose in nature but come by in little you know I'm gonna put you on hold sorry about this everybody's calling me today. okay <sighs> direct TV they need to leave me alone they can't leave me alone now that we 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 left them alone we call all the time Anyway, where was I? Uh, so, in actuality, I feel like even striving for those things is putting me in a better place. But if I could just get my um, other parts together, I'd be doing a lot better. I don't know if I just disconnected myself here. Ugh. I'm getting this peach pie filling sugary. Oh, this one's a mess. We're really gonna have to stretch this guy. And the nice thing is, I'm gonna have a little bit left over that I can put in some yogurt or, you know, ice cream. Ooh, ice cream. That's a good one. All right, so. I'm trying to take better care of myself. I went to the oral surgeon. My husband went with me. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hate going to those places by myself. I always feel like I'm missing something that they're telling me. And it's just nice to not have to sit there by yourself waiting to be told there's not a lot you can do. So I went to the oral surgeon because my jaw has still been bugging me. Oh, that one's going to be... Uzi. Oh, that one's going to be a mess. Um, so he's got me on some medications. He's told me a soft food diet, so that's why I was ooing and ahhing these with the soft. And I don't think they're going to get too, too um, hard on the outside that I wouldn't be able to experiment with when, when they're done. Okay. Oh, man. I might have overdone this one. <laughs> oh, she's pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm just covered in this stuff. My fork, the handle of my scoop. Oh, that. Okay. How did I get. Oh, that's right. I'm like, how did I get 12? Because it did 20 on the first one. I don't know why I thought it was less on the first batch here. All right, let me see how they're looking. They smell super evenly. No, no. Yeah, see, the edges are pretty crispy. Ooh. I don't know. I think I'm going to give them one more minute, and then one, that way I have time to... That's not what I meant to do. Sorry, I would normally set my, I hate setting my oven timer. It just keeps going on off over and over. Do, 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 do. Anyway, um, I forgot where I was, to be honest. Oh, my jaw, my jaw issues. So soft foods, medication, we're gonna try that. If all else fails, they're gonna do this. Basically, essentially giving me an oil change in my jaw by taking out or scraping out the bad stuff and putting in some good stuff and some steroids to get me. Oh, these are a mess. These last ones, I don't know what happened. This one's not even going to stay together. Ugh, what a mess. Okay. Just in time for me to get this out of the way. Actually, I think I'm going to take my fork. I'm going to clean it off. I'm going to use this to mix my... I don't know how this is going to mix together. You didn't see me do that. I don't know how the... Um, I'm going to get 
do not want them to get over done. My little beauties. Yeah, they're hard. They're, yeah, the outside's done. Let's see how the bottom looks. I don't know. I don't have these cooked on a thing. I'm a little worried about that. But they're going to stick. What am I doing to myself? Oh, boy. All right, guys. Good luck. That was 11 minutes total. I don't know why I'm setting it for five, but I did it again. <gasps> Oi. Can you tell it's been one of those days? All right. So now here's my dilemma. Am I going to be able to get, let me put this thing back, get the, um, the peach juice to extend the life of my I kind of need to put it on something. Oh, it's a squeezy. I'm like, why do I have to get this open? I'm supposed to do this while it's still hot or warm at least. I guess I can let it cool for a minute. I know you're going, what are you doing? You're ruining perfectly good frosting. But I want it to be more like a glaze. Okay, that's my one thought. And then the other thought is I wanted to have I want to have enough that I'll be able to do all of them, you know. I can always add some powdered sugar, I guess, if there's too much um, liquid now, you know what I mean? I have only done one too though, so you could just use like a pre-made frosting and do the same thing, right? Like, or can. Plenty of those. I actually have a cinnamon frosting. Cinnamon toast crunch frosting. Come on. have my backup of adding the, um, I'll get it, powdered sugar, especially if the peach juice has made it a little too not sweet anymore. Yeah, it's a little runny still. I thought maybe adding some of that would thicken it up. peach juice flavor to be honest. It's definitely sweet enough. It's just do I have enough? That's what I'm worried about. Especially since I couldn't like replicate this. Because you know? I was using two and a half cups of this and this is how much I have of this, you know. I just pour it in there. It's kind of runny. I'm a little concerned. Okay, um, let me just start adding a little bit of the powdered sugar and see if that helps with the. I'll do two tablespoons. I'm trying not to get it everywhere. I'm also trying to get it done before 
for pies. Well, that one's not. All right, we're starting to get the thickening ness I want. Sorry for all the. Ooh, I have my. I should have my whisk. Yeah, I want to get some of those. Uh, what are they called? Like nuggets of. It's gonna be hot. I just know it. I came over here just in time. You're not doing too bad for. shoved together. Somebody's got to eat the ugly samples, right? <laughs> yeah, I have to whisk with my... It's already dirty, you know what I'm saying? Vanilla. Is that the vanilla for the? The vanilla is supposed to go in there in the peaches. So instead, we'll put it in here. The handle's still flipping hot. It's supposed to be a teaspoon of vanilla. And the rest, you know, from I was reading it from the. So we'll put it in here. Sure, they really taste the peaches too much, but so I'm trying to grab as much of this as I can and make a mess at the same time. I'm just talented that way. All right, so practice what I preach. I don't know. I don't even do it myself all the time. I'm just trying to hold it now. Um, which is not to say I'm wrong about what I put out there in the world. It's just I'm struggling and trying to work things out as much as the next guy, you know? All right, let's see. I think we got a good... Wow, is that sweet. I wonder if I can tone it down with just a little bit of powder. some too. Plus it'll give it some I don't know. A little bit of color. I'm trying to see if I can smell the cinnamon. I don't want to add any more sugar. That's why I'm not adding my usual. You know, I guess I could always top it off with the cinnamon sugar. I'm just not sure this is enough, and I'm concerned. Okay. Well, we'll give her our best shot here. I'm going to move these guys out of the way. <laughs> You're not going to believe that, but I just flipped. Hi. And I gotta get it or I'm gonna be dragging it across my entire kitchen. Ugh. At least it's not, it was just two little blobs. All right, I'm gonna rest them on here for a minute and then I'm gonna transfer them back once, I don't know guys. I feel like I just made a huge mess. And I just dropped. Never a dull 
Can you see them? Aren't they pretty? All right. And then it says to like dip them. I think I might try brushing it on. I know that's being a wuss, so to speak. Especially since I can't. I don't even see my. trapped by my own cord. The other thing is, is I don't know that I want to put a lot on. I think it's supposed to be completely dipped, so I don't know. I like both sides. Oh, don't worry, I'm going to be eating one ugly one real soon here. Okay, I'm not worried about how much I have anymore. Just in time. Now hopefully they're not glued to the bottom of the pan because they're not on anything. Alright, I'm going to let this dry on the top of these, I think. And I'm going to glaze the other ones. And then I'll be back with you to try one and close out the show. How's that sound? Alright guys, I'll see you in a little bit. I can't see. Oh, 52 minutes. I, I think I can make it. See you in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back. I don't know if my glaze is going to set or not. I added a few more tablespoons of powdered sugar. I'd say like four. But they're still kind of sticky. So, maybe not mix the frosting and just do the frosting with... And maybe add some milk or something to thin it out. But here goes. Oh, is this the one I want to try? I want to try an ugly one. Why do they all look beautiful now? Just kidding. Alright, here we go. This guy's pretty. So here we go. Hmm. I wish one had more peaches in it. <laughs> He's good. I like that it's easy to chew because it's super soft. Yeah, I, I would fix my glaze because it's a mess. But a margarita mess. So delicious. You guys gotta try these. Okay. I went over everything, I think. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Um, I'm hoping I'll be here next Thursday. But I might have to put myself first. Who knows? Bear with me. I'm, I'm working on my jaw issues here, so it might take a little bit. But I want to be with you guys as much as I possibly can because you really help me focus on fun and just basic other things in life. Okay, I guess with that being said, I want you guys to go out and have a good day. Go do great things. Be your best self. And please, live your best blessed life. Thanks for watching.